Hello there everybody, the name's Prototype and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Now, we need to go get Kenny. Because... <sighs> Duck is getting very close to turning. And we all know what's going to have to happen. It's going to be a very tough conversation we've got to have with Kenny. You need to stop the train. Duck's just about gone back there, man. Don't feed me that bullshit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Uh. This isn't about Duck. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend! I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. I have! You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. Yeah. I'm so sorry for Kenny. Do this. I'm gonna have to at least make it quick. Again, it's I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. What do you need? I... I... Gotcha. It's time to... Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But, what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean... Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Please right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee. You'd be doing this family a great service. Yeah. Why don't we take him into the forest? So Clementine doesn't have to see. Yeah. Give yeah. us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Poor duck. What's happening? Nothing. 
Everything is fine. No, it's not. What are you doing? Can't lie to her. I'm putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Oh, dear. Um... Oh, what? No, 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 no. Get, get, gotcha. What? Cat, honey. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> Kenny. Oh, my God. I. I... Why? I'm so sorry. So sorry, Doc. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Ken. Why did you have to do that? You could have lived. I guess you couldn't live without Duck. I was so selfish of leaving Ken. Oh my god, Kenny. Kenny and Clem. It's everybody. You want to talk? Uh -uh. You uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think it's about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I mean, we took some sense into it. Don't be mad. What on earth did you tell her? Hey, how you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? Uh. We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were... You gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Mm. I'm not a barber, 
It ain't gotta be style, Jesus. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. Yeah, he's got a good point. Use a gun, because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. True. They have. Seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Uh, you got family? You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear Wow. You. No one to blame. You're homeless then. Eh, I suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. Yeah, fair enough. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Mm. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha. I'm not gonna tell him that I shot Duck. Have a word with Kenny. Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. Are there any maps up here? I don't. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Huh. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Okay. Okay. I will leave you alone. Hello, Ben. Let's have a word with you, Ben. Hey. Charlie didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. Yes, yeah, it's very true. Yeah. All right, let's have a word with Clem. I got some whiskey there. Hey, Clem. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Yep. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. 
Right. One empty bottle. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Uh bit to the right. Uh okay, a little higher. Oop. Uh. Close. Now keep it steady. Uh. Close. Now keep it steady. Uh. Okay, need to aim down. Okay, need to Okay. Aim a little bit more to the left. Aim lower. Okay, now I need to go to the right. Aim more to the right. Steady now. Almost got it. Yay! I got it. Excellent. Good shot. Okay. Uh, don't lock your eyeballs. Okay, so I need to be up. Okay, I need to aim left. A little bit more to the left. Aim a little higher. Yay! There you go. Nice. No, don't lock your eyeballs. Hey! I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath. And the gun didn't shake so much. See, you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Good. So scared, huh? Nuh uh. Okay. There's some scissors in Chuck's pack. Taint scissors. Look clean enough. Yes. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? <laughs> no. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. <laughs> That's that look. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Just <laughs> now. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Here we are. You're right. Before all of this, I was sent to jail, you know? Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here. I have some hair thingies. You do? Oh uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. Oh, that was nice of Lily. There. All set. <laughs> He's not happy. You look dumb. <laughs> no. You look cute. And a lot harder to grab.
God, she looks miserable. Can we talk to you Sorry a little bit? About your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. What do you think about Chuck? Yeah, it's a good know. point. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. I'm gonna have to really annoy Kenny and get to that blooming map. Come on. Can I get out of here? Hey. Yeah. Mm. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Mm. You still want to get a vote? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. It's full of maps and documents. I need... oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Hold on. Oh no, he's in the way! I saw the broken glass and I could have... Oh. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be, before too long. No. Oh. Shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Be safe up here. You betcha. Alright. Uh, I need to get to that map. How on earth am I going to get to that map? Can I just keep doing it until he gets... What's your problem? I just I need... If I get by you for a second, Kenny. Can you just leave me alone? Uh, you mind if I... Look in there for a second. I really wish you'd just leave me alone. I need the map. Get out of here. <laughs> What's your problem? Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? Ah. Uh. Well, I could do with the console. I was lucky enough to get it working once. Yeah, I can't do anything with it. Oh. <sighs> Uh, oh, let's get the whiskey. Let's have a look at the whiskey. Looks like Chuck has some booze left. Let's take the booze. It's a fifth of whiskey. Alright, let's go back and... I like how we still got that wrench. Or that, um. Nail remover thing. Can I give the alcohol to you? No, I can't. That's probably a very bad idea at this point. <laughs> give you booze. If you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. <laughs> mm. 
Not known for its finish. A little kid. <clears throat> Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. <clears throat> Let's talk to Kenny. Say, do you want a drink, good sir? Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Yes! Haha! <laughs> That'd help. Sweet, we can get to the map. Awesome, right. Thanks. Oh, I'm so glad we got the map when we did. Woo! Alright, let's go talk to Clementine. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. I knew it! What? I knew. It's all my fault. I knew he couldn't be trusted. Jesus, Ben. I know. They said they had my friend. That he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No, just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. I knew! I knew he couldn't be trusted! I knew it was him! Just deep down! And he is to blame for killing Carly. Hey, Clint. Oh my gosh. Hi. She was right. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. Hmm. <laughs> I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. Well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. <laughs> Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we could start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. No, hey, what is it? Don't worry, we'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M... M... something... Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. Yeah, it's good and that we have a plan. A good little shot. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh dear, indeed. Oh dear. Fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. 
You gotta get a hold of yourself. There's a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. Right, anyway, I'm going to leave it here now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of The Walking Dead. I can't believe Ben. I honestly cannot believe Ben. I can't believe he would sell us out like that. I should have listened to Lily initially and just completely got him out because he was so so skittish about the whole thing. It's just Kaja, Duck, Carly, everyone who's who's close would <sighs> Anyway, I'll deal with all this later like off, off screen so you don't have to hear me rambling or anything but it's just really, just so much happening and just no one has enough time to mourn and everything. You just need to keep pressing on, which isn't good for your mental health. But anyway, I will see you all in the next episode, guys. Take care.